Oh, it's a spider. <laughs> Check. All right, so there's been a lot of rumors surrounding Microsoft's Project Lockhart, also known as the Xbox Series S, as people have been calling it. This is supposedly Microsoft's economy console for the upcoming generation, just like the Xbox One S is to the Xbox One X in the current gen. Project Lockhart looks to be the affordable version of the Xbox Series X. I'm here to tell you that I think that everyone is missing the mark on what exactly Project Lockhart is. Let me explain. Let's take a look at what we know. All right. The Xbox Series X was announced in December of 2019 as the successor to the Xbox One. It is lauded as the flagship device for the next generation for Microsoft. It's gonna be running games natively at 4K or maybe even 8K at high frame rates. What is interesting though, is that for the first couple years, games that come out on the Xbox Series X will also come out on the Xbox One. So they'll be cross-generation for some significant amount of time, which means there's not gonna be any Xbox Series X exclusive titles at launch or anywhere near launch. We also know that Microsoft has made huge strides in their xCloud streaming service. This allows users to play their Xbox games over the internet on a PC, similar to Google Stadia or Nvidia's GeForce Now, which have seen a lot of backing from their parent companies. Now, new reports are saying that Project Lockhart is already in the in-home testing phase of development which means that it's not gonna be that long before announcement and release to the public. And for the last couple of years, all the reports coming out of Project Lockhart have stated that there will be no physical disk drive on the console itself. This is what got my brain in gear of what they could be working on. Now, we need to remember that next-gen games are gonna be several hundred gigabytes in size. I mean, just look at Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Warzone is over 200 gigabytes in the, on the current generation a diskless budget console is going to immediately run into storage issues and with all the next gen consoles going ssd only increasing that storage is going to be expensive the other thing bugging me is that there's not really room for this console in the price point and games availability and marketing for microsoft let's make an assumption that the xbox series x is going to price at around $500. Now, a more budget-friendly console would have to be around $300 to $350. The only problem is that Microsoft already has a $300 console in the Xbox One X, which has about the same specs that a next-gen budget console would have, save for the SSD. The other thing is that the Xbox One X will play all of the same games that are coming out on the Xbox Series X at launch and for years to come. Why would Microsoft spend R&D developing a new console that will be almost identical to a console that they've already done that for with similar specs? That's why I think that Project Lockhart is going to be a bare bones streaming only console way undercutting the price point of consoles nowadays. Now imagine Microsoft has three pricing points for their ecosystem. The Xbox Series X at $500, the Xbox One X at $300 and Project Lockhart at $100, for example. The device could come with a controller and have similar specs to a high-end streaming device that you can get nowadays. Think an Nvidia Shield, but without the Android TV media focus core. You know, something that could stream from the cloud, could also stream to their Mixer platform without having to use the user's bandwidth. And the whole thing would be powered by xCloud and Game Pass. This would be an all-in-one system for Microsoft to compete directly with Google Stadia and NVIDIA GeForce Now without all the complicated hardware that is plaguing those platforms. You know, Stadia requires a Chromecast Ultra or a laptop or computer of some kind to, to play the games. And there's limited controller support between the Stadia controller and then some having to be wired and a lot of confusion regarding that. And with GeForce Now, I'm pretty sure you can only do it with the Shield TV and a PC or Mac. Now, if Project Lockhart launches alongside the final version of xCloud, it could introduce a whole new fan base 
into Microsoft's ecosystem. And here's the kicker, it all requires a monthly subscription fee. And we all know that Microsoft really wants to, to hone in on their services business. So this would pretty much guarantee a constant revenue stream from people who buy the device because they would it would have to piggyback on Game Pass and xCloud and Xbox Live. Now, I'm in marketing and if I was a, an executive at Microsoft, this is what I would be doing. I would focus on very inexpensive hardware, on the services, on getting more subscriptions, more Game Pass users, you know, fully lean into being the Netflix of gaming. All that they're missing is the, the easy entry point you know, for the masses that aren't going to spend $500 on a new console or even $300 on some on hardware. You know, Netflix didn't take over the television and movie industry until adoption was almost impossible to ignore when every TV came with Netflix built in, every streaming device had a Netflix button. So the groundwork's already been laid. So that's why I think that the, the largest room for growth in the gaming industry is the ultra budget streaming platform that Microsoft has been developing over the years. Now there is one hiccup in my entire prediction and, and it comes from leaks from last year that Project Lockhart was going to use an AMD APU processor that was being developed specifically for this device and that the they were targeting 1440p gaming instead of the 4k gaming and if those are true then this obviously isn't but i don't think that even if project lockhart isn't a streaming only device i would be shocked if microsoft wasn't in development of that type of device also all that being said i still don't see the room for a device that fits in between the Xbox One X and the Xbox Series X without removing the Xbox One X entirely, which given that the games are still gonna be coming out for years, I don't see that happening. So what do you think? Do you think I'm brilliant or do you think I'm an idiot? Um, give me a thumbs up either way because that would help me out and uh, Tell me what you think. If you agree, give me a thumbs up. If you disagree, comment and tell me tell me why you disagree. Once again, this is this is video number two. We're just getting going, so uh Whoa. That was crazy. That was nuts. So loud. Yeah, are you are you getting an Xbox Series X? Are you holding on to your current gen? Are you buying current gen now while prices are dipping? Uh, what are you looking forward to? What do you think it, Project Lockhart's gonna be? Do you think Microsoft's gonna announce it soon or do you think they're gonna hold out for for a while? Let me know, let's, let's have a discussion. I'll bring some snacks. Cheers.